Silly rabbit. Silly rabbit. Did not see it run out of the kitchen. I saw it run into the kitchen. Can't imagine where he's hiding. Maybe he went down the rabbit hole off to uh, see Alice and the gang. I kept getting up last night because there was the sound of the the blinds in the house being rattled. There was no windows open. There was no wind. There was just me in the house, which is under demolition, soon to be under reconstruction because of a flood. So it's a little disconcerting to be by yourself in the house in the middle of the night and hear the blinds rattle. <laughs> That means one thing, right? There's a bunny in your house. A few days ago, hot day, I opened up the patio door all the way because there's some nice cool air out there and I had the fans going, got a good cross breeze. I'm sitting there and I just happen to notice in comes a rabbit, uninvited, comes running in through the patio, goes into the kitchen and disappears. Where'd the rabbit go? Oh, rabbit! When I turned my back, the rabbit must have gone outside. No, nope, turned out that's not the case. For three days, the rabbit has been uh, nesting in a couple of rooms where we've got a lot of our stuff stored, boxes and all sorts of stuff. There's uh, Many, many opportunities for a rabbit to find a little warren or a den. That's a noisy air blower there. Let's go inside. So after a fitful night getting up for the blind rattling every so often, I came to the conclusion, yes, there was a critter in the house besides me. Got this morning, opened up the front door, kept the screen door closed there. It has a screen door, unlike the patio door. And I hear this noise, something hitting the screen door, and I take a look, and there's a rabbit. Yep. And, of course, they immediately darted back into uh, Terry's office area. And what ensued was a few hours worth of uh, extreme effort on the part of myself and later Terry and Will to get the rabbit out of the house. I didn't get a lot of video of the chasing it around. I did find out, well, first of all, first of all, I played a, um, a YouTube movie. Of dogs barking. I had a little, little portable speaker. pretty loud. I put that in the room and I thought, well, maybe the dogs barking will scare the rabbit. But I talked to my brother who has a farm and knows these things. And he says, the rabbits in those kind of cases, they just remain very motionless and uh, motionless and just sort of burrow in and wait for the, you know, the dogs to leave. So that was not going to do it. Finally, how that worked, worked was get a big long hiking stick and start poking under, uh, probing under furniture and hoping you, you know, brush against the rabbit and convince him to move a little bit. We did that over and over again. The rabbit would run out. We had the front door open for it over there. All the rabbit had to do was to run out that door, big wide door, but every time it found some little hole to run in, so it would go back among all the boxes or underneath the furniture and everything. They can't see us. He's pretending. You rascal rabbit! Finally, we built a wall of boxes to kind of guide the little creature. And eventually, it did escape. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Yes! Bye! Bye! That's all, folks.